And welcome back, everybody. We're delighted uh, to have in our studio this morning the S- State Treasurer, Tate Reeves. Welcome, sir. Good morning, Miranda. How are you today? Very well. Good. Understand you're running for Lieutenant Governor. Why Lieutenant Governor and not uh, State Treasurer once again? Well, I've had a great opportunity over the last seven years to serve this state as its state treasurer, and and we've done a lot of great things trying to save the taxpayers' money. Uh, We've revamped the way in which we borrow money, uh, cutting our interest payments, saving the taxpayers millions of dollars. But in our state, the legislative branch is an exceptionally important uh, area. It is the area in which most public policy is, is actually derived from, and public policy is important to me. Uh, we've worked with Governor Barber and others over the last seven years to help bring better and higher paying jobs to our state. Um, when, when Governor Barber's term is up, uh, it's important that we have someone in the legislative branch, uh, in the lieutenant governor's position, that understands economics and finance and can work to continue with, with our next governor to ensure that we are continued focused on the things that are important. And in this tough economic times, what's important is better and higher paying jobs. Now, for those people who don't know, you are a Republican, right? Uh, you will be uh, um, in the primary as a Republican candidate. for It's, it's, it's actually very interesting. Uh, this year, for the first time perhaps uh, ever, uh, there is no Democrat candidate for lieutenant governor. So uh, the race will be decided in the, in the Republican primary in, in August. And, um, and so we're working very hard uh, right now, first on my day job, serving mm. as the state's chief financial officer, but also, um, when possible, getting out and... and taking a positive message and a positive vision to the people across our state. Now, you will be in the Pine Belt um, several locations. You may want to share that to our viewers this morning. Yeah, well, we're spending some time this morning in Petal, and then we'll have lunch in Hattiesburg, and we're looking forward to uh, attending the baseball game tonight, uh, assuming that uh, the weather uh, holds off or at least gets out of here by 2 o'clock, as our uh, illustrious um, weatherman has told us this <laughs> <Right>. morning. <laughs> Now, look, a lot of people are concerned about uh, the state's budget. Uh, mm-hmm. That's a big issue right now, and they're still back and forth on negotiations as it relates to that. Mm-hmm. What could you bring to the table as far as the budget? Well, the, the fact of the matter is we're still suffering from uh, the Great Recession. If you go back to 2008, $4 a gallon gas prices literally put a halt to any economic growth in our state. And because of that, our revenue started declining Um, We're in far better shape than most in Mississippi, but even so, we have tremendous challenges. And so what we're seeing uh, today is in these budget negotiations is trying to determine how much revenue we're going to have uh, next year uh, in these tough economic times. But also, we have to focus on our priorities, and public education and public safety need to be and must be the priorities of state government. Well, how's the campaigning going so far as we wrap things up this morning? (laughs) We've been blessed. You know, campaigning is fun. Getting out and traveling all over the state, talking to uh, Mississippians about a positive vision for the future, um, it's really the fun part of it. There's a lot of things in governing that's tough, uh, but actually going and talking to the um, voters is a really fun experience. No doubt. Thank you for coming this morning. And your first stop is in Petal. What's the location? We're actually going to be all over downtown. All right. If you can, get out to, to meet with Mr. Uh, Tate Reeves, who's running for lieutenant governor. But right now, he's our state treasurer. All right, let's go to Dean Wade now for our health and fitness report. <laughs>